All right, people, we are here in the Hippo Studios. I'm Matthew DeClerc. This is Paul Jun. Hello. We are doing EP Monthly, August 2019. Paul, the article is 2019 AMA House of Delegates. They covered a lot of stuff, opiate treatment, burnout, hospital consolidation, amongst other key topics. But really, this goes over the AMA and what the ER role is. Do you know what the AMA stance is on Medicare for All? No idea. No. Do you know what their stance is on the Physician Bill of Rights? No idea. Do you know how they feel about the opiate crisis and maybe some things we can do to change it? I have an idea about that. Okay. Well, there's this and a lot more in this article, Paul. Really eye-opening. I tend to get those MA, uh, AMA envelopes, look at them, put them in the trash. I, I apologize. I'm just being honest. Hey, because I'm like, hey, looking for AMA, news. what you doing for me? But, you know, they actually, it is our voice, right? It's almost like saying, well, yeah, I'm not going to vote because, well, it does make a difference. I think this might make a little difference. Not that you necessarily have to be part of the AMA, but some sort of medical society. That's gonna, how we're going to get our voice moving forward in, you know, well, our careers and medicine as a whole. So really great article. I enjoyed it because it was non-clinical, but really spoke to all the different things that we see as physicians, and it's really focused on our patients and us, and so good read, Paul. It's all about advocacy.